Hi friends, hope you are doing really well. In today's video, we are going to create something like this. You can call it 3D marble or 3D square, anything you like actually. No more wasting time on the intros, so open up the minutes and let's get started. First of all, I am taking a composition with standard settings. Give it a name you like. 1080 by 1080 will be fine for this kind of animation. Alright, let's create a solid layer for the background. You can choose any color you want. Now take shape tool and create a star shape like this. Make two copies of that shape by pressing Ctrl plus D. Now change the scale values of these shapes randomly. You can choose any scale values you want. After that, make copies of these shapes and place them randomly on the composition. Once you're done with that, select all the layers including the background and pre-compose it. You can rename it if you like. Now go to effects and presets and search for motion tile effect. Double click to apply it on the layer. Now pay attention here a little bit, okay? We need to make a perfect loop here. For doing that, first check the mirror edges. Now on the first frame, add a keyframe on the motion tile center. Then go to last keyframe. And now pay attention here also. As I say, we need to create a perfect loop. So I am using position of the star as a marker. By the way, you can choose any shape as a marker. I am using rulers for that. Now change the tile center value until you get that shape in the same position. Also, you can change the tile center value in the vertical way. Now if we play, then we can see the perfect loop here. Alright, now pre-compose the layer again, give it a name you like. Also make sure to check move all attributes. After that, go to effects and preset and search for directional blur. Apply it on the layer. Change the blur length value to a high value. Let's make it 350 for now. Also, you can change the direction of the blur from here. Let's remove the rulers from the composition. On the same layer, we are going to add another effect called Optics Compensation. Double click to apply it on the layer. Change the FOB orientation to diagonal and change the field of view to a high value. Let's make it 140 for now. Perfect. As you can see, the sides are not visible clearly. So we are going to add another effect called CC Reptile. Place this effect on the top. Then change the tiling to Turn CW and change all of these values to 1000. Also change the blend border values to 100%. On the same layer, let's add some glow effect. Play with these values to get your desired result.
If you want to add more glow on this layer, then I suggest you to pre-compose this layer again. Then apply glow effect on this layer. Now you have more control on the glowing effect. Add a solid layer for the background. In case if you want to change the color of this marble, then just add another effect called Triton. From here you can easily change the color of the marble. So this is all I want to share with you regarding this tutorial. Uh, by the way from now I am going to make videos with my original voice and this is really challenging for me. I hope you all appreciated my approach. Uh, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then, have fun and stay safe.